Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing an insane idea commented by someone so you know who you are many thanks for the idea because this is going to be absolutely insane so I've never tried this before I've never even thought about trying this but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making every single moon in the solar system orbit around earth so this is going to be absolutely insane so let's get straight into this so what we're going to need to do is we're going to basically need to put Mars or see Mars we need to put Pluto in there as well because we need to add moons to all of these guys. So then we go Neptune. We'll put all around the Earth. So, so Uranus as well. Uh, Saturn and then Jupiter. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add moons to all of these guys and uh, using that feature. So we're going to go in here. So we should be able to find the Pluto in the middle. So yeah, there's Pluto. So what we want to do is we're going to go in here add moons to the planet. So now we should have Charon in here somewhere. I don't know. Did it work? Okay, it did work. So, yeah, it's just so small it's actually in there. But, yeah, there it is. So, now what we can do is we can go back to the Pluto if we can get to it. So, yeah, it probably wasn't the easiest way of doing it, but oh well. And also, guys, while well, I'm just setting this up, many, many thanks to everyone who subscribed recently as normal. You're awesome. We'll get, we're getting closer to that 1,200 every day. It's just, it's just crazy. I cannot thank you all enough. Okay, Neptune, Uranus. Where are the other two? I'm trying to find them. Uh, let's go to the Mars. Can we look onto the Mars, please? Is that the Mars? That's Earth. There's Pluto. So we delete the Pluto. So there's, that, there's Earth. Oh my. There's Mars. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit Add Moons to Planet again. So now we should have Phobos and Deimos. Okay, so now what we can do is we can delete the Mars. So if we select it, we, can't, we don't want to delete the Earth. So we don't want to touch that at all. So there's Mars. So we delete Mars. So now we can zoom out a little bit more. So now we need to find Neptune. So there's Neptune. So we're going to hit Add Moons to Planet. So they've been added because I just saw one there. So we're going to then go and delete Neptune as well. So where's good old Neptune? I'm sorry. I know I love Neptune, but it's got to go. So no, Jupiter. No, go away. So it's, no, no. There's a lot of... No, I don't want to see you inside of Jupiter. Let me go further in. Okay, that's, that's getting really annoying. Come on. Okay, there's Uranus. Okay, so we need to get Neptune. Neptune, come on. Uranus. Because Neptune's just inside Uranus here, so it should be... Well, if we can look onto the Earth and again, and we can go inside it, so... Okay, here's Earth. So, that's Uranus. Okay, Neptune. Okay, there we go. So, delete Neptune. That's what... Alright, perfect. So, Uranus, we're going to go and add moons to you again, so let's do that. So did it add them in? I'm assuming, I'm hoping it did. So, let's see here. Yeah, it did. All right, perfect. So we now can delete Uranus. So all that's left is Jupiter and Saturn's moons now. So as you can look around, you can start to see other moons. So the, our moon is already here. We've also got Triton, the moon of Neptune. So yeah, there's going to be a ton of objects here. So look, we can already start to see. We've got the moons of Uranus there. We've got Neptune's moons like Nered, stuff like that. So there's already a ton of moons here. And something tells me they're not all going to orbit the Earth. So this is going to be pretty insane here. Oh my god. Look at all this. So turn that off. Alright, so now we need to go to Saturn. So there's Saturn. So we're going to go and add moons to you as well. So add moons. So now we should have even more here. Oh my god, this is going to be ridiculous. Look at all this. We haven't even done yet. So look at this. This is ridiculous. So yeah, Saturn's moons are now added here. Because I can see the names of them. Have we got Titan? Where's Titan? Yeah, there's Titan down there. So... Perfect. So now we can delete the Saturn. Now we're going to add the moons of Jupiter. So we're going to do that. And now they should all be here. So, yeah, Io. All right, perfect. So now we can delete Jupiter. And now we've got Earth with every single moon in the solar system around it. Look at this thing. Damn. And there's one really far down here, apparently. What is this? What's it even doing here? That's pretty far away. Can I even see Earth? Is Earth just too small? Well, if you just look, if we just look, if we just take a quick look here, land on there. If we look up where Earth should be, so okay, Earth is up there. If you look very carefully there, let's just put it the background on solid black or solid black. You can see the mark. Look at this. Look, can you see all those lighter marks there? You can see where I'm like putting my cursor. Look how many little dots there are. Damn, this is insane. Okay, let's just leave it on just stars. All right, so. This is going to get ridiculous. So now what we need to do is, we've got to go to all the objects here. We've got to select every single one. Look at this. What's this random object doing down here? 
let's delete that. I don't know what that's doing there. One of the dwarf planets, I'm guessing, is a little glitch. So, this is just ridiculous. So now we're going to select all of these, like that. Look at this! And then press auto orbit. Oh my! Look at that. That is ridiculous. And it's, it looks like Earth's orbits will even been altered by this, but damn. Are you guys ready to see this? This is going to get insane. Look at this. Some of them are so close. Phobe, this is the moon of Mars. I think Earth may tear that up. That's a little too close, I think. So there's Carol, moon of Pluto. So this is very, very close. As we can see, it's a little it's smaller than America, I think, this moon is. In um, diameter, anyway, but... There's Deimos, the other moon of Mars. So where's the where's Io? So there's Triton over there. Io is all the way out here. That's just how far away Io actually is. But is it further away than our moon? No, it looks like... I want to say our moon is closer to Earth than Io is. So that just shows how far away these objects are. And then Titan's all the way out here. Ganymede. Callisto's all the way out here as well. This moon is Saturn. I Iapetius, that's quite a well-known moon. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, enough of me talking. Let's get this going. So, we're going to slow down time to a few minutes here because it could only be minutes before this goes crazy. So, I will try this in another simulation after, I think, just so we don't have any sun effect in it. But, we're going to hit play. So, we just hit play. So, how are the orbits doing? Okay, most of them are orbiting Earth, actually. Okay. So, it looks like Earth's in a binary orbit with Callisto, apparently. But, half of the moons are just orbiting the sun since the sun's gravity is a lot stronger. But, look at this. Look at this big ring made of these moons. But, it looks like... Quite a lot of them are orbiting Earth, so yeah, this is gonna get interesting. So let's um let's just leave it on trails actually. So hit play. Is this moon gonna get torn up? Because it is look how close it is to Earth. Like actually, if we um quickly pause, how many moons are we gonna see in the night sky now? Like if we just land um let's just land here in New Guinea or have you said so somewhere here. Let's um land here so we can see Io over there. So we've got some clouds. There's Charon. There's another moon out there, that's Europa, there's Europa, okay, so you can just about see it there. Let's put labels on, so, yeah, if you look carefully, so Europa's losing a bit of material, you can see Saturn apparently, Mars, okay, no, we don't need to keep an eye on them, so, look at this, there's just moons, like, no matter where you look, if you had a telescope, no matter where you would look, you would see moons, so Charon's now the closest, so, that, that's pretty crazy, so, now let's look on the other side of Earth, so let's go... Let's go up on Greenland here, or like Northern Canada area. So let's look here. So if we land again, so below the clouds. Well, that clouds look so cool. Let's just go above them. Though. So I love looking from underneath the clouds. So there's the sun. Okay, let's go on labels. Can we see any moons from here? But this side seems a little more empty. But there's the moon. So okay, there we go. So we've got the moon there. We've got Ganymede. So let's quickly go on um, solid, no, no, solid, wait, solid black. So we can actually really have a good look. So we've got the moon, we've got Ganymede. Anything else? Okay, there's one over there. What's that? That is Despina. I have you said so. That's a very small object. That must be quite close to Earth. We've also got is that Titan? And that's Umbriel. That's a moon of Uranus. Got another moon here. That is Larissa. We've also got Mephrione. These were moons of Jupiter and Saturn, I believe. Log, log, loge, logs, lo, lo, port, portia. Yeah, sorry if I can't pronounce these. I suck. I'm sorry. I'm not good with that pronunciation of all these crazy words. So, who else? We've got anything else in the north here? Okay, there's a moon there. That is Titania. That's the largest moon of Uranus. Okay, we're looking upside down now. Okay, so there's quite a good bunch you can see from Earth here. So, that's pretty good. So, where's Titan? I want to try and spot Titan here. So. Is it there? That's Ceres. Okay, how have I spot that? It says Ceres. So where is Titan then? Look at this thing. You can see all these moons from here. Is that it there? That's Ganymede. So Ganymede's very far away. Oh, there's Titan. So from Earth, we currently cannot see it since it's facing the sun. But if you look, it's somewhere over there. So, yeah, you can re barely see that. If you just look carefully there, you can see a slight orange sort of glow almost, that's just the north of it, but that's pretty crazy there, so yeah, we'll keep this on, look at all this stuff, this is ridiculous, <laughs> oh my god, this, I, this is such a great idea, yeah, whoever commented this, you're a legend, this is just, this is pretty cool, this is probably one of the coolest ideas we've had in a while, actually, because it's so unique, and I've never seen anyone else do it on YouTube, oh look, Caron's getting torn up by Earth, it's too close, oh no, oh poor, poor Caron, it's, get, it's dying, no, it's, it's, yeah, it, that, that moon's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whoops. Sorry. <laughs> Look at all these moons just fly around, though. That is just... 
That's crazy. And then we've got all these guys out here. Wow, that is just so cool. So yeah, it looks like a lot of these guys are going to orbit the sun. So the furthest away moon is pretty much Oberon, which is a moon of Uranus, I want to say. Hyperion, that's the moon of Saturn. We've also got the moon. So not much, any object further away from the moon doesn't really seem to orbit the Earth, just because the Earth simply isn't strong enough to hold all these things because the sun's gravity is stronger. But if we speed this up now, look at this. Look how many moons. And it's pretty stable as well. Like they're not. There's not really any collisions. It's just Charon here. Just got sort of made a little smaller. As we can see, it's now only 99.7 kilometers wide. So, or in radius. So it has a lot smaller now. But overall, this is looking pretty promising. Like the orbits are working. Like that's pretty surprising. It looks like Ganymede and Callisto are orbiting around still. Or maybe it's because, or maybe Earth is actually just in a binary orbit. Because it's like Earth is coming off its orbit a bit. These guys seem to be leaving them behind, but it's like, what is going on here? That is a very weird orbit going on here. I don't know what's going on. But it looks like all of these moons here, they're staying together. But all these other ones are just flow flying away. So that's pretty interesting. So is Earth even? So Earth looks like it's orbiting Callisto, 1.46 moon. So I don't know why it's not orbiting Ganymede instead or Titan. That's pretty weird. This is just bonkers. <laughs> There's Triton over there. Europa's still here, so anything further than Callisto is not really working. So it looks like Ganymede and Callisto are the furthest ones out, or probably Callisto actually. That's pretty crazy. So yeah, they're they're being pulled away from the orbit of Earth. So that's that's very peculiar. That is so. So these guys, these are what's remained. So all of these guys here, they're just we can delete these because they're not they're not doing anything. So yeah, we can get rid of them because they they basically just flown off into their own little part of the solar system so this is what's left of what actually is so th yeah these are the only objects left from the moons that are actually orbiting earth so there's a ton of stuff in here though. like they're very small but they still count like there's tons of little objects in here like look at these guys look at all this look at this. This, is, this is ridiculous there's, there's definitely a good ton here so let's just just try and make a count here so where's the first moon so the first moon is a is um okay, where is it actually so that Phobos and Ka Ka okay, so these Charon and Phobos there. So oh, there's their moon as well. So we got there's five on each row. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So about twelve rows. That is that's sixty moons because twelve times five is sixty. Yeah, twelve. So that's so yeah, twelve times is sixty. Wait, am I wait? Am I doing that right or I do I suck? Wait, I need to check this. Yeah, twelve fives is sixty. Wait. Let me I'm not, I really hope my math's on point. I'm pretty sure it is. I'm sorry, I'm, I suck. 12 times... So, yeah, 5 times 12. No, yeah, six, okay, I was right. What am I saying? I'm, I'm dumb. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. So there's 5 on each row, and there's pretty much 12 rows of moons. So this guy has 60 moons around it. So there's 60 objects here. Or in orbit of Earth. So, confirmed. Apparently, Earth could survive with 60 of the solar system's moons. Even the largest moon, Ganymede, works around Earth. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty surprising, but yeah, according to um, Universe Sandbox and my math, um, or my math skills, apparently it works. So look at this, look how fast they're all flying around. This is this is crazy. We're only traveling at one day, pretty much, or 1.7 days here. So look at this. We've just got the moon over there, just chilling. Look at this. This is this is pretty cool. But they sort of left Earth's orbit a bit. Look, <laughs> like what is this? Yeah, Earth is now. How far away is it from the sun? I don't even know what it's orbiting. I, I think it's orbiting Callisto because Callisto is the red object. Wait, what? I don't even know what's going on here. <laughs> this is this is just crazy. Yeah, uh, it looks like Earth is in a binary orbit with Callisto. I want to say it's really peculiar, but yeah, there we go, guys. So to conclude with this, if Earth was orbiting, or according to Universe Sandbox, if these moons are orbiting Earth, they would sort of pull Earth away from the sun. So yeah, there's that. But now I want to try something. So. We're going to load into a new simulation here. We're going to do the exact same as what we did before. So we can do it a little easier this time. So we'll get Pluto to begin with. So Pluto, Pluto, Pluto. And I may not have every single moon in the solar system. So I know some of the other dwarf planets like um, Haumea. I think that has a, a moon and stuff like that. And maybe Iris and Sedna, may have, they may have moons. But yeah, we're just doing most or most of the planets moons along with Pluto's moons. Because they're quite well known. So 
let's do a whole system here. So put Pluto there. So we've got Caron and then Nyx and Hydra. Yeah, they're here as well. So yeah, Nyx, Hydra, Kerbos, all that. So then we're going to put Mars in the middle right there. So we're going to add moons to Mars. So we're going to add Mars' moons in. So there we go. Then we're going to get, um, yeah, Earth. And then, um, yeah, we'll add the moon in. So delete Mars. Earth, we'll add the moon. So the moon is over there now. All right, perfect. So now we're going to add, okay, Neptune. That's what we want. So put Neptune there. So then we're going to add moons. So then we've got all them. So delete Neptune. Then we'll put Uranus. So put Uranus right there. Then we'll go add moons again like that. Then delete Uranus. Get good old Saturn now with um, a part of Cassini in it because Cassini is now part of Saturn. Rip, yeah, rip Cassini. So yeah, delete Saturn. And then put Jupiter down right in the middle there. Then we're going to do add moons to Jupiter. So now we've got all the moons in the solar system again. And Earth has got the most mass in this simulation. So this is going to be interesting. And what I'm going to do as well is we're going to select all objects here. So, oh, damn it. What am I doing? Oh. So we're going to yeah do control and then drag. So we're going to select all these. Then we're going to hit auto orbit. Oh my. Look at all of these lines. That's scary. That's scary. <laughs> Alright, so then we're going to slow down time just a little bit. Like really, really slow. We're just going to quickly click play and pause it. And then we're going to save the simulation. And now I'm part of inside of Earth apparently. Wait, Earth is hollow? What is this? Wait, can we go out of the Earth please? Alright, there we go. So there's Earth. So we're going to hit play and then pause, which I just did. So everything should have some crazy orbits now. And it looks like Earth's in a binary orbit with Callisto again. Even though Callisto has less mass than Ganymede, which makes no sense. Titan as well has more mass than Callisto. Why is it in a binary orbit with Callisto? Please, if someone knows the answer, please say. Is it because Callisto is more dense or something, maybe? Like, it could be, but I don't know. I don't really know how density works. So 1.88, Ganymede has 1.94, and Callisto has 1.83. Yeah, I don't know. If anyone has any ideas why Earth keeps going to bind your orbit with Callisto, even though Titan and Ganymede have more mass, then please say. But it looks like everything is orbiting Earth this time, so this is going to be interesting. So let's save this simulation as Earth um, plus all moons like that. So there we go. So now we've got that to say. So if we ever want to come back to this in a live stream, it is here. So yeah, keep that in mind. But now, to conclude with this video, we've got no stars, no other planets to mess with. Earth is the center of this simulation. Let's see what havoc is going to get started here. Or maybe it won't be havoc. Maybe we'll just have a nice, simple simulation that works. But, ooh, some of these orbits look a little strange. Yeah, we're going to go and hit play, though. We're going to see what... So if we hit play... So it looks like some of them are going to crash into us. We need to hit auto orbit again, I want to say. Okay, that's fixed it. Okay, that's perfect. So if we ever open that simulation, we need to quickly make sure it's all working. But now, here we are. So all the moons in the solar system are orbiting Earth, and it seems to be working pretty well. I remember Charon's going to get torn up because it's too close to poor old Earth. But apart from that, it looks pretty. It looks. It looks like it's going well. Like it looks good. So let's go on the background and put it on. Um, it's gone all black again. So where is it? Solid, solid black, solid black, solid black. Yeah, they're solid black. Okay. So now let's look at the moons in the night sky again. So oh, look at all the moons. So there's, it's, you got um, Io over there. We've got some Uranus's moons. Oh, that's no Tethys. That's the moon of Saturn actually. We've got the moon as well. Look pretty big in the night sky. We've got Ganymede over there. So where's Titan as well? So we've got Umbriel, that's the moon of Uranus. Ariel's the moon of Uranus. Miranda's the Uranus moon. They need to give this a custom texture. Because Miranda's a very interesting object, if you don't know. Yeah, if, you, if, you, if you haven't heard of Miranda before, then where you've been living? Because Miranda is a very strange moon, but I won't get into detail. It's very, a very strange surface. Very unique looking. But yeah, I won't go into that now. So yeah, these are all moons. There's Ganymede again. So where's Titan? I'm interested to see where that is. So is it over here again? So it usually spawns over that side. Titan, where are you at? Look at all these moons! This is ridiculous. Okay, there it is. So it's over there. So if we look... Oh, no, no, oh it is visible, actually. Okay. Look at all these moons! They're just everywhere! That is, this is amazing. This is a very... This is really fun. Look at this. Yeah, I definitely recommend... If you guys have this game, do this. This is, this is a lot of fun to do. Wow. There's, there's moons everywhere you look. Look at this. You see the little dots. They may be small, but if you have a telescope on Earth and looking at this, 
Yeah, this needs to become a real thing. Let's um, yeah, let's, c let's come together and ask NASA to bring all the moons and have them orbit in Earth. That'd be that'd be really cool. Imagine having bases on all of these moons. Imagine how many people could live on all of these moons and Earth combined. Because Earth has about seven billion people right now, seven point five or something billion people. Then we've got all of these moons. Like I'm pretty sure the moon could probably have at least a billion on it. And then Ga the moon's not even the biggest moon. So like stuff like Ganymede, Titan. They could probably have a few billion people on, let alone all of the other moons. I know the asteroid moons, they may not work. We may not be able to live on those, like these things. But all of the moons are, are, are circular in shape, maybe even Mimus and Enceladus. Like those really small guys. We could maybe still live on those. Like, would it work? Like, they're small enough. Maybe I'll put an atmosphere on it somehow. I don't know. Yeah, but could, like, the little guys like those work? Like, where are they? So Mimus, for instance, yeah. So, Mimus is a circular object, like, we could make a base here, like, it, we, not, we may not be able to breathe on here, but we could have a base, maybe. Oh, look at, and then, if you just look at, from one of the moons, you can see Earth there, so there's Earth, you can see other moons even more close up, like, Io over there, then we've got other moons, there's a lot of really interesting stuff, like, and then we could go to Io, a little further out, and get some images of moons a little further, because the further we zoom out, you can't see some, but if you look here, if you just look very carefully, you can see so many little dots here. Like you can see my where my pointer is. You can just see all of these white circles where these moons are. Like they're everywhere. And then we've just go in this mode again. Look at this. This is insane. Like this is the biggest system of a planet. And what whose orbit is that? What is this? This is the most obsolete or like the most obscure orbit of any moon. Is this a moon of like Jupiter or Saturn, or is this part of Uranus or Neptune? Like, I don't even know. Yeah, anyone have any ideas what this moon is from? Pusam... Pusamuf. I have you said that. I'll check actually after this, but... Now let's actually, instead of just looking around and just admiring how pretty this is, let's actually speed it up and see if anything actually happens. So, we'll speed it up now, but... Honestly, because the moons are all... Like, there's not any really big ones close to Earth, and they're just... All the moons are quite small, and like, stuff like Callisto, Ganymede, Titan, Triton... They're all far away. They're not going to affect each other much, so... We can't really run the simulation too fast, but from what it from what it looks like, these moons are in a pretty stable system. But who's this one getting close to Earth here? That's getting dangerously close. Is that Charon again? Um, oh, that's Phobos, moon of Mars. Oh no, it looks like Charon's gone. Oh no, 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 it's still there. What am I saying? Now? It's very small though. Yeah, but it looks like Phobos is very, very close to Earth. But because it's already very small, Earth doesn't seem to tear it up much. So look at this thing. This is. Very close to Earth, that. Wow, look at that. It's very, very close. That's, that's pretty amazing stuff. Yeah, I could maybe make one day make a video trying to colonise all this. That would be a massive project, because... Imagine having all of these objects colonised, all of the ones that we can colonise. That would be ridiculously insane. Maybe we'll do it around, like, a, another star, not the sun, but something like that. If you guys want a video on that, that that's pretty cool. We could do that. But, look at this. This is just ridiculously insane. But it works, like that works, like they're all orbiting fine, the orbits aren't wobbling. Like remember in like when we usually make um, planets into stars and stuff, the orbits are usually wobbling around a lot. Here, it's not really happening much. Like they've got one moon here, Tefis, I think it was Tefis orbit was changing slightly, but apart from that, everything seems fine. It's only Callisto and Ganymede that don't have orbits around Earth for some reason. Pretty peculiar, since Titan has more mass than Callisto, makes no sense, but oh well. Yeah, but it, overall, it seems to be working. The, the simulation works. Like, yeah, this is a, this is a pretty cool thing. Like, and then we could supernova the Earth or something like. We could throw Jupiter in here, cool. And we'll have like, if you guys want that in a live stream, we can do that. We could spend a whole live stream in this um, simulation. Like, we could do that for um, one thousand one hundred subscribers. Since I haven't, I don't think I've made a special for it yet. Well, have I? I don't know, but yeah, we'll definitely do it for uh, a live stream soon on this because. Yeah, I could do a whole live stream on this simulation if you guys want that. So, yeah, if you want it, just tell me in the comments right now because that would be pretty interesting. But, yeah, there we go, guys. So, to conclude, if every moon in the solar system was orbs in Earth, you would have a very darn nice system. But also, it works. Like, there's no, like, no, nothing's colliding with each other. It's all going well. Like, there's, yeah, everything seems to be working fine. There's no collisions. The orbits aren't wobbling around or anything. So, this is a very stable system, if you ask me. That's... So, yeah, according to Universe Sandbox logic, um, this would work in reality, so that's pretty amazing, like, that's just, it's so beautiful to look at this, though, like, just standing on top of Earth and lining all of these objects up in a one big line, 
like and then just seeing them all in the line in the night sky that would be amazing to look at but yeah i reckon there's a lot more or this um, simulation has a lot of potential for us to make other videos or live streams on so if you guys want it then yeah just tell tell me because yeah we could probably spend a good few hours messing around with this simulation like this is this is this is very a lot of fun to make and we got it all saved so it's always here if we ever need it so yeah yeah, Earth plus all moons. It's right here if we ever need to use a simulation. So, yeah, this is, this is really good. So, yeah, hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video because I definitely did. But, yeah, so if you um, enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more. Help us on the journey to 1,200 subscribers. Let's see if we can try and get it before October because that would be pretty crazy. And just look at all these moons flying around. This is just awesome. But, yeah, so, yeah, there we go, guys. So, make sure you all have a good day. If you want me to do, like, live stream on this or other videos and just say because, yeah, this would be pretty awesome. But, yeah, simulation's all saved if we ever need it. So, that's all good. But, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.